Hey everybody, welcome back. I just want to talk real quickly about the Buffalo Bills safety, Damar Hamlin. Now I'm sure by now all you football fans, all the sports fans, just about everybody in America knows what's going on with him, what happened to him. And I uh, don't want to jump the gun, but it sounds like he's going to be okay, I guess, overnight. He got taken off a ventilator, a breathing tube, and this morning they reported that he was, the latest update, they said he was able to talk. I'm not sure how well, but they said he was able to talk on a FaceTime video to his teammates. And uh, they said yesterday, although he wasn't talking yet because he was still on the ventilator yesterday, but they said he was able to write, he was able to move his hands and his feet and um, his leg. They said that he wrote, yeah, you see, he didn't know the game had gotten postponed. Um, canceled and he is he wrote on a note it's kind of cute asking who won the game and um i guess yeah by now he knows the game got postponed canceled which is a good thing and uh i sure hope I, i'm pretty sure his season is oh he's probably not going to play in the playoffs which is kind of a shame it's too, too bad but uh, i sure hope he plays again but depending upon his heart condition I and mean, he's only 24 years old went into cardiac arrest that's pretty scary the doctor, who, who knows, it just depends on what the doctors say, but they might recommend that he not play again. I sure hope not. I sure hope he comes back to play. But there, it's really weird. There, there have been basketball players I've heard about. Uh, Quintino Mobley, who used to play for the Los Angeles Clippers, was one of them, I think, out of routine physical. Before one of the seasons started, they just found that he had an irregular heartbeat and he had a bad heart, and they recommended he ended up retiring. After that, he was still pretty young, but they just – recommended that he didn't play anymore and he never did play again which is a shame i sure hope he'll play again but uh you know we'll see it's, it's, it's up to it, it's up to, up to what he wants to do but I, I imagine if the doctors tell him you know not to play again he probably won't play um but i, I definitely um appreciate the outreach for him uh several of the uh cincinnati it was happened in uh, cincinnati he was on the road the team was on the road playing a road game, but um, you know, his teammates and uh, even a lot of the Cincinnati Bengals players, the Cincinnati Bengals coach, they came to see him in the hospital, and he's got a lot in donations. So uh, I, I definitely it, it, you hate to see something like that happen to somebody. He seemed like a great guy, but uh, it, it, it is nice to see when bad things like that happen. It's nice to see the love come in, people you know unite like that. You don't see too much of that anymore. As much as 9-11 was a terrible thing, it was really nice in the aftermath how everybody, you know, came together as one, you know, one nation. And, you know, it didn't last through that long. It's too bad that uh, things aren't like that every day. Things aren't like that more often. It seems like we have to have bad things happen to us or other people before we come together and, you know, show each other respect and love and commitment. But, uh, you know... That's uh, something that's really hard to do. A lot of uh, people are just in themselves. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to see that there's still love like that going around. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure when the game's going to be rescheduled for. I guess it's still up in the air. It was a big game because the Bills were 12-3. and three, The Bengals were 11-4. and four, And uh, they're both going to be in the playoffs. But it was a pretty critical game because if the Bills uh, or if the uh, Bengals had won that game, which they were winning, they would be 12-4. and four. They have the same record as the Buffalo Bills. So it was uh, they're kind of fighting for, uh, you know, standing in the playoff spot for, uh, you know, a number of the uh, – they're both going to be in the playoffs, but, you know, they're just fighting for a higher position in the playoffs, higher standing in the playoffs. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all real soon with another great video. Have a great rest of your week, everybody. Talk to you all soon. Bye.